collective how's it going um i was supposed to do mindful messages uh today and i had a whole week of stuff planned but here in the states there's a lot of like nasty energy a lot of demonic shit going on my empath my psychic medium stuff i'm just very very fucking protective of my energy uh, i'm gonna talk a little bit about that <laughs> um if you have spiritual gifts or if you've just been feeling the tenseness in the air, I, I've i been feeling it since last week. Basically, um, there's people who watch my channel that do witchcraft in a graveyard against me. Um, one group is like actually like they think they're a coven. Um, they think because they got a results on certain things that they are actually the gifted ones and they're not it's the demons that they're um, bringing in to do things that are the gifted ones and they appease their host as needed but they themselves are not anointed they are not divine because they are not practicing their spiritual gifts within the light everybody has a choice on this earth you can choose whatever you want I don't judge anybody's choice but when you cast against me for jealousy and envy and no other reason because you just don't like my light that's that's some bullshit and I'm gonna step to you spiritually back because I don't play I about my energy I don't play about myself I don't worry about shit I don't have to do witchcraft Witchcraft, to me, no offense to witches out there, and if you have an ancient soul, you won't be offended because you know exactly what I mean. It's baby shit. It's a baby fucking shit. If you need to cast spells to get things on this earth, you do not have a very strong gift then because I can manifest whatever I want without a single spell. Ask and you shall receive. But what you ask for has to be within the light and for the right reasons for your divine path. I don't go up there asking God for no petty bullshit. I don't care about 3D things. I care about building things. I care about leaving a change on this earth. And my motives and things are of the light. So they will be granted. Just like anybody else who does things for the right reasons. Do we always get what we want? No. Because sometimes what we're asking for, there's something better coming. And they're like, wait, you actually don't want this. You want this. So no, you wouldn't get that thing that you asked for because something better is coming. And then I, when I don't get at what I want, something better comes. I don't need magic. Magic is for weak people who can't pull what they need from the universe by themselves. Just with their divine gift and their, their connection to their sources. You don't need ingredients, you don't need specific locations, you don't need candles, you don't need any of it, you don't even need moon water. It's just to make yourself feel stronger. I am home in myself. I am all the magic that I need and I'm thankful for it because God gave it to me. I'm thankful for what I was born with. I'm thankful for remembering who I am and how many times I've come here. Because no, not every life am I as educated as I am now. And I don't share my shit with the world for very good reasons. Because mostly, I got evil eyes on me. I've had evil eyes on me since the day I was born. Because I know what my purpose is. It's not going to make sense now. One day, in the future, you're all going to look back on this and be like, Holy fucking shit! It doesn't make sense to anyone. I don't care. I'm not here for glory. I'm not here for fame. I'm not here for likes. I'm not here for pompous ass shit. I'm here to be myself. And I'm appreciative of everything that I get while I'm here. I'm thankful for all the people who watch me who are good. And all of my subscribers. I'm thankful. But this is not why I do things. I don't do things for things. I put stuff out to help people. I put stuff out because it's fun and creative and I, I'm hoping to put light on this world and some people connect to it and some people don't but the ones watching me doing spell work there's people connected to bad people that I've been connected to that still just want to keep their hooks in me and they can't the cords are being cut and then there's people up in the elite trying to fucking stop me steal my work rip me off 
you know, I don't fucking need to deal with any of these people. I'm just more sensitive than most people because I am a big part of my purpose here is to get rid of all these evil motherfuckers. And there's going to come a day where evil's going to be blatant in your face just as much as you see crucifixes around and statues of Mother Mary and Jesus. You're going to be seeing people, those walking versions of evil. They're not going to be able to hide it and they're not going to have to. They're not going to want it because evil will get a day here of rule. It's always been written. It's already been foretold. And look at Jerusalem. How many fucking times you got to surround it before you get it? You fucked up, world. You fucked up and bad shit is happening. I hope tomorrow is fine. I hope that everybody can practice their right to vote one way or the other in peace, but I do not have that faith in my people anymore. I think there's going to be some scary shit happening. I think people feel it all over. That's why most, the majority of people are either not going to vote because it's just a scary situation, or they did the absentee ballot, or, or already voted in some way. Because I think everybody is one way or the other, no matter who wins tomorrow, something's going to pop off in America. We cannot get our shit together. We are so divided. We are so against each other. Like, if somebody stood up on a podium and said, Hey, America, do you want to go to civil war and fight each other? America would say yes. Spiritually, energetically, America would be like, Fuck yes. I just want to fuck people up. Because the world in this area is very dark, evil, angry. We've lost hope. There's, I don't... I haven't talked to one person that actually believes anything's going to change. Everybody believes it's just going to get worse no matter who's in. And nobody really feels like their vote matters and or counts or any of it is legit. People have zero faith in our government, our politics. It's a shit show. And it's just an excuse for people to pick up a flag and run with it angrily and fight each other. That's what politics is. It's a reason to fight each other. Because neither of these clowns are going to do anything. One's either going to just throw money at you and put a band-aid over the situation, and the other one's not going to do anything at all. <laughs> so, I, whatever way it falls, you know, there's no change. There's no hope coming. And as far as energetically, I'm not hiding. I'm not walking around in doom and gloom i think we have a little bit of time before things get real bad but i i already know what's coming and i don't want to explain it i don't feel the need to explain it i don't feel the need to warn anybody even if i did give a list of warnings out one no one's going to believe it and or listen to it i could quote everything i fucking saw and it could happen verbatim and people are going to be like that bitch is just good at guessing they just can't accept it. They've never, this world has never accepted prophets in anything. Am I saying I'm Jesus? No. But I have a foresight capability and I've been right about a lot of shit if you pay attention. Shit I've predicted happens on a scary ass fucking level. Nobody wants to listen to us little, little peas in this world with a tiny little voice that actually knows shit that's drowned out by the scope of bullshit bubble gum in front of you. You think the world is hard now? This is baby shit. Wait until things you don't understand and can crush you like a bug come here. Then you're not, your little piss world, little piss ant world leaders aren't gonna be shit to what's above all of us and more powerful than everybody on this earth. It already happened here. You can call it whatever you want, but basically chaos and peace will butt heads and one of them's gonna win. But we're just the playing field and it's not gonna be a good time for anyone. Batten down the hatches spiritually. There's evil shit everywhere. You're gonna be feeling it and sensing it. And pretty soon in our lifetime, you're gonna be seeing Seeing real demons in the faces, scared as shit. All the stuff that mediums see and you guys are like, oh, that shit's crazy. I've never seen that. You will. 
and you'll be seeing it every day and you're going to be crying like I did when I was four and everyone thought I was crazy. I'm going to be cool, calm, connect, and collected in the streets like, I already done this part. I've been seeing these motherfuckers since before I could talk. I'll wait for you guys to...